Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will discuss about one more concept in compiler design that is recognition of tokens. So in our previous session we have seen how to generate the list of tokens and what are the different specifications of tokens. Now we will see the recognition of tokens. So how the tokens can be recognized and this can be done in two ways. So the first one is by using a transition table. The transition table and the second one is by using transition diagram. So these are the two ways how we can recognize different tokens. So you might be knowing about the Automata theory there you will be knowing about these transition diagrams. So which will be represented with a circle and edges. So circle represents some states and the edge represents the different uh, possibilities to change the state. All right. Now coming to the transition table. First we will see the transition table. So in our previous sessions we have seen the output of the lexical analyzer which is a first phase is a list of tokens which will be arranged in a symbol table, right? Symbol table. So the same symbol table, we can call it as a transition table. So what will be available in this transition table? So the lexeme and the corresponding token will be there in the transition table. So in order to create the transition table, first we need to identify the different categories of tokens in the statements. So First, the transition table, we are going to deal with this, okay. So what happens here? The grammar or statements will be like this. So the statement can be written as, okay. So if some expression, then some sort of statements to be executed. If expression, some statement. Or if the expression then statement and we will also write in the else part so this is a simple if and this is a if else so statement else a uh, one more statement else one more statement or the statement can be null that is an epsilon null so what is this expression so usually what we call it as an expression expression means if there is any operator in between two different operands, then we will call it as an expression, which will be which will be evaluated. So here it can be represented as the term followed by some relational operator and followed by a one more term. So usually we are calling this term as a operands. Okay. So how these terms will be represented? Term can be represented as an identifier or it may be a number. Directly we can give a number, right? An identifier or a number. So identifier means we will be getting both uh, keywords as well as a uh, constants. Sorry, not a keywords, so variables and a constants. Both we call it as an identifier. So we are calling it as an identifier or it's a number. Okay, so now take the transition table, so which is having a two different parts. The first part will be the lexeme. So first it will eliminate all the white spaces that we have seen in our previous session, right? First it will be eliminating all the white spaces and it will be only considering this lexeme is. Okay, and here the corresponding token. So coming to here, the lexeme uh, is a if and the token will be the same. So token will be also be the keyword, right? The, similarly, if uh, else or then, else, all comes under the keywords, right? Then, Symbols, okay, symbols, you can, here you can write what is the relational operator, relational operator can be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, 
greater than or equal to equal to and usually not equal to okay not equal to so here we can simply write it as less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to and not equal to so all these comes under see all these comes under relational operator so we can simply write them as an operator operators so in the similar way whatever the statements we are using in our program from those that statement we have to represent as a grammar and from this particular statement or a grammar we are finding out the legends and the followed by the corresponding tokens and this we usually call it as a, a transition table and also we can include this idn number idn numbers okay those comes with the different identifiers which will be having some sort of pointer towards the memory okay because we know that identifier uh, or any i mean the variables or constants we say that these are the alternate names given for the memory location so which points to the memory location so like this this is a one way by using the transition table we can recognize the different tokens with the help of a different grammar or a statements and the next one is a transition diagram see transition diagram so i'll tell you so we'll we'll see how the uh, transition diagram will be and uh, we know that the name itself indicates the transition diagram so which represent the diagrammatic that means a picture representation right of anything so usually we will use a circle with a start symbol and states different states and circle inside the circle double circle will represent it as a stop or end state end state so this this can be called as a start state and this will be the end state and the arrow marks the arrow marks will be representing the edge okay edge or possibility to change possibility possibility to change from one state to another state so by using these that these representations these notations we are going to draw the transition diagrams for example if you want to draw the identifier the transition diagram for this identifier for example it will start with the start symbol so let us start it with the start okay and always the diagram should start with the letters okay the keywords or identifiers sorry identifiers or means a variables or a constants or anything it should start with the letters so it will start with the letter right so after that it can be a possibility of both letters and digits so you can have a loop self loop and here a letter or digit okay and also we can go with the plus okay that means a more number of digits so okay here we are representing the loop self loop so it can be more and then followed by any others and which will give the end state end state okay so this will be the transition diagram for identifier because that identifier should start with only the letter okay so we are using it will starting with the letter compulsory it will start with letter and followed by it may be a combination of alpha numeric that means a more number of letters can be having or more number of uh, digits can have so that's why we are giving a self loop okay it can have multiple letters and digits and finally it will move on with the third third state that is a final state because we are representing with a double symbol and similarly one more example the relational operator see it will start the transition diagram will start with the start symbol and if it is less than if it is less than 
then the second state okay then it it can be yeah so it can be is equal to which is the third one okay and which ends with the uh, others or simply we can say uh, this will be the final state and this is nothing but less than or equal to and there can be the second one second possibility which can be greater than symbol which will be not equal or not equal and another one others or epsilon c which will be just a less than symbol so this is a one more transition diagram for the relational operator less than and once again let us six it is a greater than then see what is this one one possibility is less than or greater than or equal to and another one others or epsilon which gives only the greater than symbol and there is a one more possibility which is is equal to which is is equal to so which simply gives the others and which gives the end state which is nothing but is equal to so if you can observe less than or equal to less than less than uh, not equal to greater than or equal to greater than equal to so the relational operator can be represented by using this transition diagram in this way okay so this is the second method to represent the tokens okay so for example if it is a id if it is an id we know that it should start with a letter and the next one it can be letter or a digit and it can be plus it can be plus that is it can have a more number of letters than the digits but it should have only the it should start with only the letter so you can represent this within this particular record pattern matching or else you can also represent a to z capital a to capital z and again a to z capital a to capital z 0 to 9 and here you can give a plus so that 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 also specify the same thing so the identifier should start with the either small letters or the capital letters and followed by n number of small letters and capital letters and the digits that means alpha numeric so by using these two transition diagram and the transition table the tokens will be recognized okay so hope you understood let's stop here and if you are having any queries in this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much